Solomon wondered why he was not sent to Abana and Papa, which were both rivers in Damascus, and were adjudged better than the rivers in Israel. <laughs> Naaman's healing was tied to Jordan, but he compared Jordan to Abana and Papa, and he almost missed it. He nearly missed his miracle by comparing God's instruction to ideas that pleased him. He nearly missed his breakthrough by comparing God's way to ideas that he could comprehend with his mortal brain. Friend, discern between God's instruction and ideas that please you. You need to discern between human suggestions and God's will. We need to discern between physical attractions and the divine pathway that will lead to what God has ordained for you. We must discern between what you would have loved to do and what God wants. Naaman wanted to do what he wanted to do. But Naaman could not get what he would have gotten if he did what he wanted to do. He had to submit to what God wanted to do. Naaman preferred Abena and Papa, but Jordan was where he got healed. His results came from a place he would ordinarily not choose to be in. His result did not come from a beautiful river. No. <laughs> If you have chosen to walk with God, your best results may not come from a beautiful river. Your desires may not show up from expected quarters. Naaman later obeyed Elisha and got healed, and his skin came afresh like the skin of a baby. He followed the path of God, the path that God ordained for him. And he got the result that Abena and Papa may not have fetched him. If you walk the path that God ordained for you, get set for uncommon results that will position you on higher levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop comparing yourself with others whose destinies are different. Walk in the path God has chosen for you and your God ordained results will manifest. <laughs> the Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 says, they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Please declare with me, I choose to walk in God's pathway for my life. In Jesus' name. God bless you. And stay blessed.